means if you understand how the market works, it's the only system that has provided great prosperity. It has been the marketplace and sound money and freedom of choice and contract and property rights that have uplifted people since the Industrial Revolution. Man has been around for 6,000 years of history and mostly have lived in poverty and tyranny. We've had this grand example of freedom of the marketplace and we've had such great prosperity. And here we are. Here we are rejecting those principles. And it's going to dissipate. We're going to lose it. And we have to make the case for the moral defense of freedom and liberty because it is compassionate. It isn't laissez-faire where you can do anything you want and nothing comes good of it. It means that you have freedom of choice and good things come up. But of course, there are imperfections in the world. Not everybody's going to be taken care of perfectly. There will not be equality. But if you want to do the maximum amount of good for the maximum number of people, you have to endorse liberty. You know, the, the real experiment in liberty came with our Constitution. It was the best document, and it was an imperfect document, but it was still the best. And uh, from that came great prosperity and uh, great freedom, and yet, in the last hundred years, we have cared more about the material aspects of what we have, always looking to government for redistribution of, of, of wealth, never looking to the government for its limited purpose of protecting liberty. And because we've done that, we have lost sight on these key core principles that have made our country great, which are embedded in our traditions, embedded in our Constitution. So to me, it seems rather easy to figure this out. I think we're going to run into a lot of financial problems because I think people who live beyond their means live beneath their means. And individuals, if you have borrowed too much, you have to end up paying the bills when the bank calls your notes to. That happens in a way for our country too. We will be forced to pay some of these bills, just as we did in the 70s, we paid for the 60s. And right now we're paying for the war that is ongoing. But I think our conditions are much worse. Now, if we don't do anything, if we don't win this fight, I'll tell you, I, I think what is, is, is going to be very difficult. Things are going to get much, much worse, much more tyranny, and much we're going to be much poorer. But if we lose all our wealth and we're able to put our eye on the target and know what liberty really means, have faith and confidence, and make sure that government is limited, limited to the protection of liberty, I think we'll get up off our feet in no time at all and be as prosperous, if not more prosperous, than ever before. Should be that of protection of liberty. The purpose of liberty is to release the creative energy of each and every one of us. This never should be the striving for perfect equality because that's unachievable. But in our personal lives, at least this is my personal belief, that, that our lives should be dedicated to striving for virtue and excellence. But once government takes over that project of promoting virtue and excellence and perfection and democracy on the, around the world with the use of a gun and with, with force and regulations, it is only done at the expense of liberty and it doesn't achieve what it was supposed to be achieved. So if virtue and excellence is a good goal, there is only one way it can be achieved and we were on the right track. We are off that track right now and what we have to do is bring this country back on track, understand it, have confidence, and fight and defend for the liberties that has made this country great. Thank you very much.
donation envelopes if you could help us today to pray the cost of this fantastic rally. We'd appreciate it that we folks by the door uh, collecting those. I have an announcement to make for our attendance today. 1,440. Thank you.